Very good afternoon to one and all. Highly <coughs> acclaimed honorable delegates on the dais, our respectable Vice Chancellor Professor Gurmit Singh sir, our respectable Director of Studies Tarani Mukhar sir, our Director Culture, Professor Raju Jain sir, our Registrar, Professor Rajanish Bhutani sir on the dais, of the dais, our Finance Officer, Officers, DRs, ARs, office staff from across the campus and uh, officials of Vice Chancellor's Secretariat, Deputy Dean Students Welfare, Professors, and other faculty friends, scholars, and my dear student friends. Once again, good afternoon to one and all. Today, we all gathered here as a part of observing vigilance awareness week which is going to start from today 30th October to 5th November 2023 though it is annual uh, uh, a kind of conventional practice mandatory uh, activity of the government of India, a call by vigilance and uh, on this occasion vigilance authorities comes out with every year a caption uh, related to make our society corruption free. This year also we have caption say no to corruption and commit to the nation. On this occasion I request our Honorable Vice Chancellor to deliver a speech and organize integrity pledge for all our employees. Madam friends, very good afternoon. Uh, let me tell you very frankly, I was not aware that this has to be done today. Nobody informed me. For whatever reasons, I will not get into the details. We'll find it out later why was it that way. And 11 o'clock, another uh, very useful program for our university, which was the placement and induction program for our computer science, banking technology and other students where some of the big names in the industry where it is very difficult to get people. TCS, their business head was here. Uh, other uh, IT concerns were there. So that was the program which was organized and I thought it was, a, it was an excellent effort for uh, our department for the benefit of our, all these young minds who are looking for uh, good directions. Reason for that was that the way world is changing. 
probably you will not know. The way world is changing, things are moving so fast that unless we keep ourselves informed about it, probably we will never be where we are required to be. And in computer science, especially things have been so fast that I made a statement that you have joined the university now and three years or four years or five years down the line you will be passing out. Now, between now and when you pass out, you half of you would not know which job you are going to be joining. You may think I will be doing this, I will be doing that. Things are changing so fast that you will not know where you are going to be landing up in your career. So that's the way things are changing and unless we keep ourselves informed, uh, our, uh, our course, our path is going to be very difficult. In fact, one of the papers I was reading few days back in a computer science magazine which is very recent one and that, that was corroborated by our Dean Research, Dr. Joseph Selwyn. The latest which has come now is, which is shocking, amazing, that a microchip which is of the size of one millimeter by one millimeter, less than that in fact, is going to be put into your brain. That this experiment is on in our country. They put it in some animals to have a count of what way they are growing and under Lawrence, the tiger category, we have done this experiment and we were successful in keeping a count of that. So a chip of that kind is going to be put here and that will be hooked to a computer. Any information that is coming, any book that is going to be there, any information that is going to be there, it will get downloaded in your memory. You will not have to read. You will know. So imagine if this is going to be, this has just started and they have been successful in this. Imagine if this is going to be the case and if this somebody is going to do it, then I don't know where, where we are going to be. Already do you have seen this chat GPT and other things that you write something, everything is being... Amazing changes are there and only thing is we need to keep ourselves informed and this is what I told computer science people, that you are in an era where these are the things which are going to be taking place. So you have to decide whether you want to be a walking computer or you want to be uh, selling samosas outside uh, gate number one or gate number two or have a tea stall or whatever I mean, choice is yours. Anyway, that was this part and since it was very interesting, I stayed on. I gave a long talk also. I heard some of the experts. So I thought I will attend but then that was a long program. In between I was told that we have to give this pledge. Now coming back to this, we all celebrate our uh, festivals year after year. So this also is a is a kind of a festival that we celebrate every year. But what is the purpose? The purpose is to remind us that this is where our society belongs and this is what we have to keep it alive. If we celebrate the Pavli, if we celebrate Onam, if you celebrate Pongal, there is a significance to this. Now we do it every year to remind ourselves that we have to keep these traditions alive. If it is for harvesting, we have to keep it alive. If we don't celebrate, imagine we have done it and you will say, well, we all know what is Pongal for, what is Onam for. And if you don't celebrate, you will, well, find you remember, you know, but our kids, our grandkids, they won't know what is Onam, what is Pongal. That's why it is needed. It is needed to remind our generation that this is what we were, this is what we are, and this is what we are going to be ultimately becoming by your hard work, by your sincerity, by your dedication, by your awareness. And that, a step in that direction is this Vigilance Awareness Week, which is celebrated every year. Every year for this very reason, that we want to make our society a corruption-free society. We need to be aware of this. We need to be dedicatedly honest in our dealings. That is a reminder when we celebrate this. We may not be, you know, we, some of our older friends, who are on the verge of walking out of their career, they start. They would have started their career 30 years back and it was very common that you stand on the road and bribe some policeman or bribe some railway employee or somewhere postal employee to get your things. It was very common and people would watch also that this is being done. Now gradually there is a change. We don't see these things. Gone are the days. Maybe 
it might be there but they are not in the open they are they are reducing they have gone down people have become aware and our society has become a better society to live in you don't find these things in hospitals in other places we go there get our treatment done things are fine things are better there was a time we used to give some underhand money to railway employees for getting our tickets booked and we used to stand in queue for one hour two hours to get a seat booked and if you had to change your program it used to be another nightmare cancel your ticket and again give them some 50 100 rupees no it's not that you sit on your computer get your booking done cancel it change it doesn't take long in banks we used to spend hours together to get a check in cash or to deposit money or to get a draft made no it's not that you do it in a minute and in fact now the way we have moved sitting on our table anywhere in the world we can access our bank accounts so these are the changes which have taken place so there is no question of uh, somebody becoming corrupt somebody even vegetable seller you are paying through whatever what is it called whatsapp paytm gp i have never used it incidentally you can treat me whatever way but then this is the way it is everybody is able to pay 2 rupees 5 rupees these kind of digital transaction and i take a great pride when i say that india is the largest where this kind of transitions are taking place how are we largest we are the we are 1.4 billion people uh, we are a force so whatever we do it others will follow and it is happening now it has started happening but whatever society we shall have others are looking at it koreans are looking at europeans are looking at japanese are looking at so if we are celebrating this please be assured that the whole world is looking at us that india is celebrating a vigilance awareness week you shouldn't be surprised if the other countries will also start doing it i'm not talking about some of the well known countries but there are many small countries where they are looking at us that what are they doing if they are doing it let's start we also doing it smaller country macedonia is one country marshall and mariana islands uh, four fiji islands four guineas papua new guinea and equatorial guinea these are the countries they are looking at us and these are the countries where when one of our judges retire from supreme court they request us please send your officer so that our legal system can be developed send your police officer so that we can develop policing system so they are copying us not only the uh, americans and europeans the way it was 20 years back they are now looking at us and they are looking at us because they have realized that this is a country which rose from very poor level to such an advanced level that everybody is looking at them so please be very careful that the world is watching at us and that is why we are celebrating this vigilance week if we celebrate others will also celebrate if we become better others will also become better and whatever our policies has been peaceful coexistence peaceful development uh, one earth one life one world one society they are looking at us they are following this and they are appreciating us so in that line they have to appreciate this also so it's a reminder year after year when we say let's take a pledge we take a pledge so that this year we have said it next year we will again say it that well we have to be following these dictums and if this is followed we will probably if we have been 80% honest next year will be 90% honest so this will hit your mind that well i took a pledge i don't have to do this i took a pledge i have to do this so it will be a reminder so that's why we celebrate this year after year last year we did it i remember this year again we are doing it next year again we shall do it so it's a reminder for you that uh, let's uh, be honest to our approach let's be dedicated and and if some is not you are then somebody will look at you that you are very good then others will also follow if you come to the office at 9 o'clock with your lunch pack uh, and others are wasting 2 hours in going out and having lunch probably they'll copy you they'll emulate you that if you are doing that way i should also do it that is what is required i hope i have made myself very clear i have a bad habit of uh, building up a preface before i come to what i want to say so i built enough which you would have followed so now we uh, we reiterate we 
take an oath, we commit to ourselves and we commit to the society as well that well we are here for you, we are here to work for you, we are here to make life much better for you uh, now and in the days and years to come. So that's this is a step in that line, in that direction. So it's an integrity pledge for citizens. We are all citizens. We are all taking this pledge. Well, I'll I'll uh, I'll read the first three lines. You need not. We'll only take the pledge finally. I believe that corruption has been one of the major obstacles to economic, political, and social progress of our country. We all know that, and we are all feeling concerned about that. I also believe that all stakeholders, such as government, citizens and private sectors need to work together to eradicate corruption. That also is very well known to us. Well, I further realize that every citizen should be vigilant and commit to the highest standards of honesty and integrity at all times and support the fight against corruption. We all need to do this. Therefore, let's take a pledge. I therefore pledge to follow poverty and rule of law in all walks of life to neither take or nor offer bribe to perform all tasks in an honest and transparent manner to act in public interest to lead by example Exhibiting integrity, exhibiting integrity in personal behavior, in personal behavior. To, report any incident to report any incident of corruption, of corruption. To, the to the appropriate agency. Repeat your name, Gurmeet Singh. That's it. Say your name loudly, whosoever he is. That means you have not taken the pledge. Right? Thank you very much, please.